Get, get, get off me sweat. Get, get, get off me sweat. Hey guys, Johnny Nerd out here. Got another custom e-bike build for you. Let's get into it. Let's go over what makes this bike super dope and why if you have this bike, you should strongly consider electrifying it instead of throwing it out or smashing it or something. Something stupid like that. If you're new to this channel, I'm Johnny Nerdout. I convert bikes into e-bikes. I take normal bikes, slap motor systems on them, make them into killer e-bikes. Just amazing e-bikes for prices that you cannot buy a similar spec bike for even close, like even remotely close. If you wanna build something like this yourself, you're gonna save even more money. If you're thinking about buying an e-bike, if you know somebody who's thinking about buying an e-bike, find the style that you want, custom make it, you're gonna come out with a way better performing bike for way less money. Hand to God. This is a Townie Electra. This is a super comfortable bike. They make them in men's, women's, they're unisex. They, the bikes don't go by gender anymore. They go by unisex because they know as guys, men are getting older, their hinges don't work. They can't be swinging legs over all, all the time to get on their bikes. They're just, they're not riding it anymore. So they have this. Now, now us old folks can just ride like this. We don't have to kill ourselves have one of those life alert buttons because we almost killed ourselves trying to get onto our bike and fell over. It's no longer, this is no longer a woman's bike. Hands, look at my seating position. Look at this. It's not quite upright where I'd want it to be, but you can put a stem riser up here and make this thing into a, just a total old man bike or an old, old woman bike. Doesn't have to be a man's bike. Yes, yeah, so it's got rim brakes. If you've seen, I've got a video up on rim brake versus disc brakes. As long as your rim brakes work good, they're great for an e-bike. Just keep them in good shape. Just keep them maintained. This thing grabs really well. These brakes work really well. I don't bat an eye at all about converting a rim brake bike. As long as they work good and you keep them maintained. Make sure that these brake pads don't get dry rot on them. Make sure that they're actually making contact with the rim and they're adjusted. They're adjusted. And you just take it for a ride. Does it feel confident? Can you stop confidently? If so, Go for it. This bike, we went with the BBS 02, 750 watt Bafang motor. Um, it's got a 44 front tooth chain ring. We were able to reuse this chain guard, which is really awesome because it, it looks nice and it's functional. It's really nice. For the battery, we went with a 48 volt, 11.6 amp hour battery. This is gonna be good for, you know, 30, 40 mile range, depending on how you're riding it, obviously. Put in this rear rack and mounted it to here. This, this battery is really light, so you really don't even notice it back there, and it's on there really secure. We just used the holes in the bottom of this rack and just mounted it right to it. So it's on there really snug, it's on there secure. Obviously, high rear center of gravity is not ideal, but if you go with a small battery like this, it isn't that bad. It's actually pretty nice. We did put a gear shift sensor on it right here. We went with the 500C color display. This is a nice, small color display. It's kind of incognito, it's inconspicuous. The only thing that this display does not have is a USB out, so if you wanted to charge your phone or lights or anything else like that, you could not charge it off of that. This is the display I recommend if you don't need to charge your phone or anything like that, if you don't plan on going out for hour and hours and hours and writing. We did do integrated headlight and rear light that runs off of the motor. So you can control the headlights and rear light from the display. You just press and hold the plus button for two seconds, both lights pop on. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test. And the Johnny Nerd Out test is where I test top speed and hill climbing, both from a running start and from a standstill. So let's go see how this bad boy does. So you can see 32 miles an hour isn't crazy, but I mean, that's plenty fast on a bicycle. It's because this is only 48 volts. If you put a 52 volt battery on it, you probably get another two, three miles per hour out of it. But for most people, 32 miles an hour is already crazy fast for a bicycle. So this build was about 1150, including the rack and the lights and everything, minus my labor, which is 320. You know, if you have a bike like this already sitting around, if you want to do it yourself for 1150, you could have this exact setup with all these specs and components for you know 40 mile range batter uh, bike so all right hopefully this helps somebody if you're thinking about converting this type of bike and i'm holding the salute for way too long but all right i'll see you next time